to the 2020-2021 Yadkin Early College National Honor Society induction ceremony, please rise and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We are honored to provide you with this virtual ceremony, and we hope that it will leave you a fond memory of such an important accomplishment in your high school careers. You have worked very hard to be here. You have earned the honor you are receiving today. As NHS President, on behalf of all involved with the National Honor Society, let me tell you how very proud we are of all you've done and accomplished so far. In a year like no other, our school's chapter of National Honor Society has risen to the occasion. This year, our members have completed a total of four major service projects, tallying hundreds of hours of hard work and service to our school and community. With our current situation, traditional ser service projects have certainly become more difficult. We've been forced to adapt in order to continue serving our school and community. We were able to sell spoofy grams in October as a Halloween fundraiser. Our backpack program collected and filled 20 backpacks that will be given to children around our county who have worries about sometimes the most basic of necessities. At the start of the second semester, we were able to provide helpful ACT tips to juniors who took this somewhat daunting test in February. Finally, we participated in fundraising for March of Dimes to support babies born prematurely as well as their mothers. Our members have upheld the four pillars of the National Honor Society, stepping up to be leaders, keeping himself in good academic standing, serving our community, and overall being upstanding members of our Honor Society, being the example for who striving scholars truly are. We celebrate that today by passing the torch from our 20 graduating members to our 26 sophomore and junior inductees. Inductees, let today be a stepping off point, the starting line, if you will. You are about to become a part of this group of dedicated scholarly students. Let them be the, your example for today. Then strive to be the example for tomorrow. Push yourself to do great things and show our county what it means to be members of the National Honor Society. In the words of author Stephen King, the scariest moment is always just before you start. To our parents, guardians, community supporters, and YEC faculty and staff, thank you for your continuous support of our National Honor Society chapter. Let us begin by recognizing the four pillars of the National Honor Society. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past. The torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others with that school and the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is a quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of, better, of a better tomorrow. We cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity for our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and for our own. Society Chavez. is leadership. 
Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities. The real leaders strive to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resource may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. However, as Joanne Chula once said, it is important to remember that leadership is not a person or a position. It is a complex moral relationship between people based on trust, obligation, commitment, emotion, and shared visions of the good. Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. <clears throat> it is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Thank you for joining us for the scholarship award portion of our program. This award is a local chapter scholarship. NHS is a national club dedicated to helping young people succeed both personally and academically. It is my pleasure to present this scholarship to one such deserving individual on behalf of the Yadkin Early College chapter. This recipient is a great scholar, leader, mentor, and dedicated young lady who represents all four esteemed pillars of this club. Congratulations, Mariana Vasquez Gallardo. Please come forward to accept this scholarship award. Mr. Zamora and I are very proud of you. given the opportunity to introduce to you this year's keynote speaker. Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Today's speaker has not only taught so many here at Yadkin Early College various subjects, but has also taken the time to know us on a personal level, from our learning styles to interests, hobbies, quirks, and so much more. She's a graduate of Starmount High School. She attended Surrey Community College and later transferred to Appalachian State University where she majored in history and secondary education and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree. She came to Yadkin Early College in 2011 where she now teaches English and history courses. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you the Yadkin Early College High School's Teacher of the Year and this year's National Honor Society keynote speaker, Mrs. Emily Williams. Today, it is my pleasure to welcome you all into the National Honor Society, a group built off of high standards of achievement, not only in the area of academics and community service, but in character and leadership as well. I can honestly say that I truly enjoy teaching and working with each of you. And I'm very proud of your accomplishments and of your recognition today. One of the pillars of the National Honor Society is character. What is character? The word is Greek and means symbol or imprint on the soul. It has also been defined as the crown of a moral life, something you build through virtuous behavior. You are all still young with your whole lives ahead of you. 
but each day that passes, you are building your character through the choices that you make. The decisions you make each and every day define who you are. The choices you make when no one is watching are even more important than those that will gain you recognition. Character is how you treat those who can do nothing for you. Everyday character means valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that reflect love of self, but more importantly, a concern and love for others. I will tell you from experience, your character is something that follows you all throughout your life. Character and reputation have an interesting relationship. Be the person in character that your reputation amongst others and in the community will be a stellar example of a human being. Your character will precede you in conversations, and it will cast doubt on lies that are told about you. It reflects who you truly are, so make your choices wisely. Choose integrity. Character is not developed easily, and often it takes the experience of trial and suffering to hammer itself out. Your character is a lasting symbol of yourself put forth into society. So my friends, when you give someone your word, keep it. When the truth hurts and is hard to say, say it. Be true to yourself above everyone else. Show kindness to everyone always, even when people are undeserving. Kindness goes a long way. Give of yourself to the people that you love. The most important thing you can give to another human being is to give them your time. Time is something that once it is spent, we cannot get it back, and therefore it is priceless. Give your time to your studies, to yourself, to your community, and to your loved ones. We exist in a society today where the act of helping one another seems to have become increasingly infrequent. If you listen to the news at night, you hear story after story of all the bad in the world. The media portrays the world as a pretty horrible place, but I believe differently. I believe in young men and women like you that will change our communities and our world for the better. And I believe that the future lies in each and every one of you. So while being inducted into the National Honor Society is super important, it's the small choices in your life that you make every day that will ultimately define who you are. It's in the words you speak, the actions you take, and the life that you choose to live. I trust that each of you will strive to live up to the expectations of your community, your school, your teachers, but most importantly, yourselves. Congratulations to each of you. Kristen Aguilar. Ahmed Angeles Arellano. Jasmine Arcadio. Samuel Valdilio. Charlie Baldwin.
Cameron Bradshaw. Ethan Brewer. Paulina Cruz Martinez. Norhan El Shamshari. Chloe Faulkner. Wyatt Hawks. Daisy Jimenez. Holly Logan. Ormidalia Maya Arroyo. Ashley Medel Patricio. Skyler Mosley. Congratulations. 
Tyler Pilcher. Peyton Ponce de Leon. Patience Smith. JC Walters. Aaron Woodell. Stephanie Sanchez. Caitlin Wiles. We will now welcome our 2020 2021. National Honor Society inductees with the National Honor Society Pledge. I pledge to maintain high scholastic standing, to endeavor intelligently and courageously, to be a leader, to give of myself freely in service to others, and to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Congratulations to each inductee on this honor that you have earned. Your hard work and dedication to academic excellence has granted you this recognition. We ask that you continue to strive to do your best in all aspects of life. You have each shown that you're capable of achieving the things in life that you want through hard work and perseverance. I challenge you to never let that drive fade and to always exhibit the pillars of the National Honor Society. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Again, congratulations on your induction into the National Honor Society.